So let's talk about Shopify development, what it is, and how to learn it as an absolute beginner. Hello everyone, my name is Bernard and welcome to another video from Weekly How. If you're not subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell button so you won't miss my future uploads. Most of you are probably wanting to learn Shopify development because you either have a Shopify store that you want to improve or you just want to become a Shopify developer. Either way, you will do the same steps to learn Shopify development. And then you can choose whether you want to create Shopify apps or Shopify themes. Let's begin. Before you get into actual Shopify development, you will need to understand first and learn about web development. Wait, 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 wait. I'm here to learn Shopify development. Why would I learn web development? Well, Shopify development is basically part of web development because it's still on the web. Now, there are two parts of web development. Obviously, there's the front end and the back end. So front end is basically what you're seeing in your browser. And back end is what's working to make your front end display the right output for your users. For front end, you'll have to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But with back end, you can pick one programming language that can make you feel comfortable. Comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. Sometimes I, I speak comfortable. You can use Node or React, PHP, Ruby on Rails, or Python. You can pick one of these programming languages. After you've learned front end and back end, the next thing that you need to learn or you should learn is database. Database is super important, especially for Shopify app development because you'll have to save the user session or the access token, and then you need to access that from your database and then authenticate that to make sure that the Shopify merchant is legit. Once you have understand and learned web development, it's time for you to learn about Shopify development. Now, what is Shopify development? Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. Shopify development is a way for Shopify merchants or Shopify developers to create applications or features to improve a Shopify store. Now, there are two things that you can create with Shopify development, a Shopify app and a Shopify theme. A Shopify theme is basically what you're seeing in your Shopify store. It's the front end or the store front, whereas a Shopify app is just a plugin to improve your Shopify store. Now the question is, which one should you learn? I highly recommend learning Shopify theme development first because that's much easier compared to Shopify app development. But obviously, that's not the only reason why you should learn theme development first before Shopify app development. Another reason why you should learn theme development first before app development is that you will most likely learn or use Liquid programming in your app development. So without learning Liquid, you won't be able to add features in your Shopify stores using Shopify apps. In other words, you will not be able to add um, custom navigational bars, announcement bars, pop-up messages, and so on and so forth. To learn more about Shopify theme development and Liquid, you can watch this video that I put out last, last week or last time. Uh, I'll put its link in the video description below or you can click the eye icon right over here. Or right over here. Right over here. Yeah, right over here. <laughs> no, it's, yeah, it's here. <laughs> okay, so let's say that you have created a Shopify theme using Shopify theme development. Congratulations. Now you can proceed and learn Shopify app development. Shopify app development is more advanced compared to Shopify theme development. So don't be discouraged to learn it and take your time. Okay, so what is the first thing that you need to do? First, you need to learn and understand what is Shopify API. So what is API? API stands for Application Programming Interface. It is a way for two applications to communicate with each other. So these two applications are basically your app and Shopify. If your application asks Shopify to send, say for example, a list of product, Shopify will respond either yes or no. So that is API, just a communication between two applications. So how can you create a Shopify app? You can create a Shopify app using one of the programming languages that I mentioned earlier. Though there are other programming languages that you can use as long as it can communicate with 
an API. If you want to learn more about Shopify app development, I have a playlist of videos teaching you guys how to create a Shopify app using PHP. But if you want to use Node and React, I have a course for that. I'll put all of the links that you're going to need in the video description below, or you can click the eye icon right over here. Shopify development can be really exhausting, especially if you're just a beginner. But once you get the gist of it, you will find it very easy. So my advice for you is to keep practicing and learn Liquid if you want to master theme development and Shopify API if you want to master Shopify app development. So yeah, those are the two things that you will only need to master to become a Shopify developer. Anyway, that's it for this video. If this video somehow helped you, I would appreciate if you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more Shopify content. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.